guys, today we are going to talk about the five biggest changes in price for this week. I'm going to try to make this channel more MTG Finance based, uh, mainly because I think that's the niche my channel kind of falls under. So the first card, Bird of Paradise. This card has been reprinted a bazillion times, but at least this edition of it, the fifth edition is almost nine, ten dollars and there's not much in stock. So if you look at the history of the card, uh, in 2015, it was probably, it was less than four to five dollars. Uh, even in, until a few months ago, it was less than four dollars. And now it's at six, it's at eight. You can kind of see the price spike at the very end, uh, the price spike being over eight to nine dollars. Uh, very impressive for a card that has been reprinted, I believe, 13 times. The next card, you're going to see a pattern, I guess, in the next few cards is Kitchen Finks, which also fits the Coco or, as we're going to see later, the Malera. Uh, Kitchen Finks was obviously reprinted in Modern Masters 1. It fell to 5 or $6, and now it's back to 12 or four, 12 to $14. Crazy. I remember at GP Houston, people were, the vendors were picking them up. They were offering very good buy list. I kind of made a mistake and sold off my cards. But as you kind of see, there was a recent spike in 2016, a little trend up. And the Kitchen Finks has been just a overall a very good card. It's very good in the decks that it's played in. Uh, Coco, Malera Pad, Kiki Cord, uh, any combo using just fantastic as a gain you some life stall now we get to malera herself now this card i remember very well because he's one of my princesses she started at a dollar and she stuck to a dollar a dollar 25 a dollar 10 for the longest time like it looked like all hope was lost and now she's eight plus dollars tcg mids her price spike is absolutely, um, it's predictable because she is a unique card. As you can see, the price spike actually happened. There was, seems to be a price spike around July 2015. And then around right now, actually, her price is still spiking. Um, I love the card. It is a very unique card. And the Coco decks look like it's going to get stronger. The Malera Combo Pod-esque decks look like it's going to get stronger. And they are pretty good decks to play with. Uh, the next would be something that I highly recommend you not picking up. Squandered Resources. Now this is a card from Visions. And before we begin, the next two cards are on the reserve list. And the only reason they are spiking is because they are on the reserve list. And a lot of people are doing this right now. It's very trendy among the MTG Finance community just to buy out these reserve list cards that are absolute crap. Uh, this card was less than 50 cents. I think it was 40 cents. And then it spiked something like 700% as you can see from the chart. I always said less, yeah, it was definitely, wow. So the mids were much less than 50 cents it looks like. And now it is a $5.50 card, huh? So this card has just ink spiked. Um, be aware that um, when you're trading, don't just trade by price. Also look at price history. A lot of times these older cards are just not worth the money. Uh, wait until it settles down if you need it. The second card, which also is on the reserve list and also is a card, in my opinion, that is not that great. Penderone Mist, uh, not good at all. Uh, four, for each creature gains during your upkeep, pay one or bury this creature. Obviously, there is a very good land that does something similar, but it cost, doesn't cost four. It's a land. Now, why is this card um, worth talking about? Because again, it spiked from under $2 recently to over, it looks like $8 right now. Really difficult for me to say this is an $8 card. Um, really difficult for me to even um, understand what the objective is. I know these cards are on a reserve list, but and they cannot be reprinted. But in my eyes, they're just not really good cards, so why would you want them? 
Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, if you guys have cards you want me to talk about, leave a comment in the description below, and maybe I'll talk about it. Bye.